think I have about three pieces of evidence to support the idea that there are Russian bots in my channel like crazy. First piece of evidence, it's not mine, all right? This is one that is well known. These bot farms and these troll farms exist. People have documented this even since the 2016 elections. Although exaggerated for the most part, they do exist. Their impact on the world and spreading their own propaganda is probably negligible, but their objective is to shove their own propaganda to the front of comments despite the unpopular opinion most people have of them. There's reports that they get money for how many likes they get, how many uh, comments they get underneath theirs, um, and how many they make in total, right? So there's people who just make email accounts, they make YouTube accounts just to spread this disinfo. And we all know that AI is a thing now, okay? So it's very easy to do this, more easy than you think. How many times have you gotten scam calls? How many times do you go down on YouTube comments on like Mr. Beast or some other big platform and the top comment, even Mr. Beast talks about this too. His top comments are like scams. There's people like trying to link them to like a Telegram page or like some weird sketchy website and they have their other thousand accounts to go and like their comments so it gets to the uh, to the top and i've seen this on my own channel so long story short we know they exist ai is coming out it, it's very simple to go and do this you can make a, a freaking bot farm if you wanted to just make a thousand accounts a thousand emails probably take you a day so the second piece of evidence that i want to make is that there are duplicate comments so there's a lot of comments that are like pro-russian or something but they're all duplicates or very very similar and that concerns me. I think it's a piece of evidence towards the Russian bot farms, like I said. And for me, as a YouTuber, as a content creator, it's concerning. Now, obviously, this could mean a couple different things, which we're going to get into with the third piece of evidence that I have. The last one is the dislike-like ratio that I get on my videos versus the negative, positive comments that I receive are drastically different. It seems like half of the, half of the people watching my videos support the Russians when in reality, you look at the like-dislike ratio, and it is, you guys support me like crazy, even though I don't ask for likes, I don't ask for, you know, subscribing or comments on my videos, but you guys still give it to me, um, which I really appreciate, we're gonna get into that, but it's just so different. Uh, so here's a screen recording of one of my videos that I got, the like-dislike ratio, it's fantastic, you guys like the video, awesome, but you look at the comments, and it's, it's almost like it's, uh, it's more negative than you'd imagine it to be, right? Not only that, but a lot of them are duplicates, a lot of them are like, it's like, this kind of looks like spam, you know what I mean? So luckily for me, right, I've been content creating for like five years. The first four years have just got only hate. <laughs> I have thicker skin than, uh, than I started off with, right? But for people who are new to content creation or they get on Instagram and they just want to share something about Ukraine or like whatever it is, they get impacted by this quite a bit, right? And they start thinking the idea of this whole Russian propaganda effort to go make bots and spread their propaganda is to disservice, you know, the, the content on Ukraine that is positive towards Ukraine. You know, they're trying to cover it up. They're trying to make people feel like they're the, the lone wolf, right? When in reality, they aren't. The Russian opinion on the war is not popular anywhere in the world, even in China. China is like supportive of Russia. So yeah, I mean, we're only talking about words here, but words have power. Even averagely thick skinned, you can get through those comments and be like, okay, whatever. Uh, but for people who are starting off, it's, it's really, really tough. It's really, really tough. And for you, the viewer, right? You go down the comments, you expect to go and see like people saying positive things, but then you're just spammed with all this shit. It's, uh, it's probably a little concerning to you, but Trust me, I really think that there's a Russian bot um, epidemic right now, especially on Ukraine content. Now, the counter argument for this piece of evidence is that obviously I'm a bigger name in the Ukraine content you know, community. And what happens is I've seen my content being posted on pro-Russian telegrams, which I follow. Obviously, I see both sides, but they're large ones, right? And some of those people might come to my comment section to go and just say what they were discussing back in their telegram. And that's... Uh, a very good counter argument. And the other counter argument that I have towards my own piece of evidence is that when you watch a video that you agree with, it's enough to like it. You can like it and you usually feel pretty good about that. You don't feel like commenting and that's fine. Now, if you disagree with the video, I've seen myself in this position quite a few times where I disagree with the video and I wanna discuss my concerns. I wanna go to the comment section and say, I disagree with this. Obviously, if you disagree with something, you're more likely to go and speak up Especially with YouTube, you can't see dislikes anymore. I can see it on my YouTube studio, which is why I'm showing you it, but you can see likes. So it almost 
only looks positive unless you go to the comments. So all in all, words have power. My content is power. Your words, your comments, your discussions with your family have power. The world governments know this. This is something that AI makes even easier for people who wanna, you know, bad actors wanna go and abuse the viewpoint of the world by putting in their own troll farms or whatever. That's something that can happen. As we learned very recently with the leaks of the of the documents on the Ukraine war from March, where the airmen uh, released all that stuff. Crazy. Uh, I don't even know enough to go make a video on that, to be honest, but information has power. And the only way that Ukraine is gonna go and get the continued support is if people carry on understanding what's going on in Ukraine, wanting to support them. That's the only way. And the only way to go and stop that is to make it seem like nobody supports it, right? So yeah, I, I think I've said enough on that point. I wanna end this video with saying a big thanks to the channel members of this channel. And yeah, that's it for today or tonight. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.